Before you actually analyze your data, you need to do a couple additional steps. So the first is that I want you to set your settings in Jamovi to 4DP for your decimal points. So if you click on this little, the top three dots on the right there, you're gonna change your number format to 4DP and then your p-value format to 4DP. Um, the reason for that is that I want you to have enough of the values that you can write your APA style paper without having to go back and recalculate. Um, so it'll just make it a little bit easier for you. The next step takes a little bit more time, uh, but not that much. We're just gonna add some filters. So the idea here is that we wanna filter out people who don't meet our criteria for remaining in the study. Your criteria for this study is that they have to have consented to be in the study, which is a no brainer. We obviously want them to only be consented. Um, and then we also want to remove anyone who didn't finish the variables of interest. So if you had people who started the survey but didn't finish all of the responses that you need for your data analysis for the inferential test, you need to take them out of the study. So I'm gonna go to filters. And the first thing that I wanna do is I'm going to look at my consent. Um, and I just clicked on consent, but I can go back to filter really easily. So you can see that if they agreed, they would have put a one. And if I do not agree, they would have put a two. So if I go to filter, the idea is that I need to say, hey, I need to kick out anybody who didn't agree. So I'm gonna click on my little function, um, uh, my function editor, my formula editor, and then I need to find that variable. So I'm gonna choose consent and I'm gonna double click it. And then I'm gonna show you what it does depending on what your, what your answer is. So you can say equals equals one, and that's gonna say if it equals one, you keep it. Notice that that is there. These are all, um, they have green check marks now in this new column right here. Uh, if I were to put equals equals two, then notice they're all red and they're all grayed out. This is a good way for you to check and make sure that you're setting it up correctly because you can just say, oh, hey, these people agreed to participate. They shouldn't be grayed out. So then you can change it. And in Jamovi language, it uses the equal equal. Um, you'll notice that different programming languages have different ways of communicating um, something like a function like equals. So this is saying that it's just saying that consent has to equal one uh, for us to keep them. Now I want to add my variables of interest. So you should have, uh, you'll have at least two, but you might have more than that. So the first one that I'm looking for in this study, and if I go all the way to the right, I have attractiveness. And so um, notice that it's continuous. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to filters. I'm gonna click on my formula editor go to attractiveness. And it's easy to just say, I want it to be greater than or equal to zero. The idea here is that it's going to eliminate anybody who uh, is missing. And so if it doesn't, if it's not greater than or equal to zero, if it's missing, it's gonna show up as a red X and then gray out that person. And if we go through, we can see, oh, there's somebody who did not complete the attractiveness questions. And then the last one I'm gonna add, oh shoot, I just completely undid that. So you get to watch me do it again because I don't wanna re-record this. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm adding my consent back in and I'm gonna make consent equals equals one. And then I'm gonna do my plus sign and I want that to be for attractiveness and I'm gonna make that greater than or equal to zero. Oops, zero, equal to zero. And then I'm gonna add my next one um, and I just click up here again on this plus sign and notice it adds that third filter row or column right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my last variable of interest, which is this IV underscore mask. And basically I just wanna make sure that again, anything that's uh, missing is not included. So I can use this same greater than or equal to zero. The idea is just that it's saying if there's a number there, then you keep them. And so now I could go back through and you can see that if they have a red X in any of those columns, it's gonna gray them out. 
and it's not going to include them for analysis. So here's one, you can see that it's grayed out. And a way that you can check this is you can always look at your total number. So this had 127 participants, but if we were to actually do the data analysis, we would find that it's only going to include 125. So make sure that you complete this step before you do your data analysis.